Hi there, we're, at, we're in Dublin at X Music. It's June the 6th, and we thought we'd, I uh, thought I'd just show you a little bit about my tuning method. First, don't drop the key. Um, Mike Ellis has changed the head for me. We've gone down to sort of finger tight on every lug. Then, top tip number one take two keys and always go opposite and apply the same amount of pressure. So the head gets pulled nice and evenly. In fact, you can kind of feel it as you go along. Um, so I'm just about what's this? About a quarter of a turn, half a turn, yeah, a quarter of a turn, I guess. You can start to hear the pitch difference. This has obviously got more tension on it than that has, so let's go here next. Still a bit down. Sometimes I put my finger in the middle to bring the pitch up and it also helps cut down some of the overtones. And it becomes a bit more obvious which one's high and which one's low. that one's lower and I just keep looking for the lowest point until I've found the right pitch for the snare drum skin. Then when I put it on the kit I need to make sure that the pitch of this is away from the toms. If it's very similar pitch to one of the toms then we're going to get a lot of sympathetic snare buzz which is something we don't want. I try to cut down on as much of that as I can. You never get rid of all of it of course and I use pure sound snares cut down to eight strands because it's normally the outside ones that have got the least amount of tension on them and they're the ones that are going to buzz first so I just use eight strands on most of my snare drums and carefully pitch the, the snare drum away from the tom-toms that's how you get rid of the snare buzz and that's today's top tip